Welcome everybody to this brief video demonstration of GeoGebra Classroom. My name is Tim and joining me today are Alex. Hi. Giannis. Hi. Julia. Hello. And Anna. Hi. These four awesome GeoGebra team members are going to take the roles of the students in my class. I'm going to take the role of the teacher. And so here on my screen, you'll see I have one GeoGebra activity entitled Exploring Intersections of Planes. Here we have an applet into which students will construct, and we have two questions for them to answer. So let's create a class from this activity. Again, hit the Create Class button in the upper right corner to do so. Once I do so, I can title my class. I'll keep it the same title for time's sake, and I'll hit Create. And so now each of my students, uh, I'm going to ask them to go to this URL right here and type in that special code to get into my class, OK? There is, a, there is a GeoGebra Classroom link right on GeoGebra's homepage. Uh, alternatively, see, the students are coming in right there. I could also hit the Share button up here. And if I'm having my class in a virtual meeting, like we're doing right now, I can just give them a link, drop it in the chat, and they could just join without having to type in the code. So two quick ways for students to enter your class. They're all in now, so let's get started. As a teacher, I can look at the Tasks Overview button right here. And notice that two out of four people have started the first task already. Wow, they've all started. So let's take a look at their work and see how they're doing. I'll click on the thumbnail and notice there, I've already seen all students have plotted three points. Now I'm asking them to construct a plane through those three points. Anna has already done it. So is Julia. See, I am monitoring student progress in real time by looking at these thumbnails. Okay. And as students create and as they build, I can see their uh, progression every one to two seconds. My colleagues are in Austria. I'm in the United States. They are thousands of miles away, but I am seeing updates in real time. It's pretty awesome. So uh, they could change colors. Now I'm going to look at Julia's work. I could take a close-up view, a preview of what she just last left. And look, this is how she left it. I can actually mess with the construction a little bit. Granted, this is a view only. It's not going to change Julia's but it, uh, work. But basically, look at this. They are changing. They're moving their planes around. They're spinning it. I am seeing changes literally every second. And this is pretty powerful. So if you have a project which students are building something, you can monitor student progress as a whole, or you can click on any one student and check out detailed progression, if you will. OK, so there we go right there. So now let's take a look at the second task. Can we jump there, please? Would you please answer that question? If two planes intersect, how would you describe it? They're typing in the responses. And as soon as my students do, I see results as a teacher. I see their results instantly. That is the power of GeoGebra Classroom here. And if I want to display these responses to my class, share my screen, for example, as I'm doing right now, I can choose to make all the names, uh, anonymize all the names. So literally, when I display work to the class, nobody knows who submitted what. That is a nice, powerful feature um, as well, because some students may feel uncomfortable if their work is showing with their name attached. Okay. So let's now go to the, uh, the next task, which is a basically a multiple choice question. It says, suppose plane A and plane B intersect at K. What can we conclude about K? Would you students please change your answers just quickly? Just check all, check none, whatever. You see, as they are changing the responses, I can see changes in the bar graph pretty quickly. That is pretty powerful. So I can use this to poll the class, ask a question. You see what I'm saying? The, the, the possibilities are endless here. Now, if you could stop for a second, all right? They're not listening. All right, so stop. I can actually show the correct answer here. The correct answer is C. Okay, let me hide it again. Go ahead and keep changing your responses, please, if you will. And at any time you see student answers down here, I could actually see as a teacher, I could see which students are changing and which students have checked which box. Okay, so as a teacher, obviously I know who answered correctly, who didn't. So again, this is just a little sneak peek, a glimpse at what you could do with GeoGebra Classroom. The GeoGebra team plans to add more features to this in the months to come, so stay tuned for that. We hope uh, this is beneficial for you and your students as you, uh, you know, engage in distance learning for, the, for this temporary period of time. But uh, we hope you enjoyed GeoGebra Classroom and wish you and your students the very best. Thank you for watching.